residents of Isaba Ikiti in the Kole Kansu area of Ikiti State on Saturday protested the killings of two farmers by suspected Fulani Hesme on Friday. The angry residents, comprising youth, women, and the aged, chanted war songs, made bonfires, and rained curses on the killers of the two farmers just as vehicular and commercial activities were affected for a greater part of Saturday Why the protesters blocked the major roads in the community. According to Punch, the victims were identified as Toyi Akeju, popularly known as Jisoro, in the community while the other called Daudu was said to be a laborer invited to work on the farm. The two victims were mauled on their farmland. A source in Isaba Ikiti said, the two victims went to the farm on Friday and they were killed there by Fulani Esme, who had been terrorizing the Ikole Okeo Ako, Irele Ikpao Axis. The dead bodies of the two farmers were recovered from the bush on Saturday. Another source who said the family, after waiting for the return of the two men from the farm on Friday, approached the men from a Motekun Corps who in turn initiated a search team alongside the local hunters and the police to the farm where they discovered their corpses with gunshot injuries on Sunday, on Saturday morning. He said, obviously, it was a reprisal attack because on Thursday, these farmers were on the farm and had issues with the herdsmen. The elders went ahead and returned on Friday to commit this cowardly act against the farmers who only challenged them a day earlier. It is an unfortunate situation. The commander Ikiti Amotekun Corps Brigadier General Joe Komolafe retired, who confirmed the killing, said his men were already on the criminal element tree as he assured that the cops would do everything possible to put an end to attacks by suspected S-men. Komolafe said the S-men allegedly killed the two farmers after an altercation the earlier had on Thursday said we have handed over their corpses to the police while we continue with our investigations the police public relations officer AKC state command sunday abutu said that the police had begun an investigation to unravel the remote and immediate cause of the crisis and ensure that culprits were brought to book Abutu said there was a crisis between some farmers and the headers. In the process, there were casualties. The police were contacted and operatives have been deployed to the axis to maintain peace. The diseased corpses had been recovered from the Amotekun corpse and discovered, deposited in the morgue at Ikole General Hospital. The police commissioner, Mr. Tunde Mubayo, has called for calm. Policemen are on the tray of the suspected killers abutu stated hmm. so guys these are the, the same statements being made uh, by the security agency the sta same statement they made in Ibarakpa again because we learned that the Fulani Esme they have resumed their destruction destruction of farmlands and they will tell you that uh, oh they are trying to bring peace but they will not get these people arrested this is not the first time it's been happening it's been happening over and over again over and over again this time around, you are not able to hear anybody from uh, the south, from the north, because they believe that uh, that is the same thing they are going through. So it is not a big deal. If it is not a big deal to you, it's a big deal in the south because people are not going to tolerate that. But the question I really want to ask, and a lot of people have been asking the same questions, the same question people have been asking, that why is it that these people have not, there's no, there's nothing like a reprisal attack in the southwest, southeast, I mean, but it's been happening in the southwest. But when you talk about southeast, we have never heard. I've never heard. If you have heard, let us know. But I've never heard that there's a reprisal attack in the southeast. What could be the the the, the secret? That is how we're going to be speaking English here and there. People have gone. Police will tell you they are investigating it. They are investigating it. Honestly, protest has no effect in Nigeria. If you like protest from here to thy kingdom come. See that kingdom come. Instead of you to be heard, you will get killed or arrested. Ask I pop of the old, of the old, and then and they will tell you. Just map out strategies on how to protest, protect your farms, people, and properties. Sometimes I shudder to ask myself what would have happened in this country if it were Yoruba, Igbo, Ijo, Esmen going to every corner 
of the northeast and northwest of Nigeria to kill people indiscriminately under a Buhari presidency. Would you would this Buhari have been so helpless? No, 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 no. He wouldn't have now. The people would have fought for themselves. These my people from Ikiti are just so funny. Were they sleeping when that our governor said they should come to Ikiti, that Ikiti is their home? This their protest to me is nonsense. They should brazen up and protect themselves and stop waiting for the government that is dead. What is difficult for the federal government to create ranches and help the situation as politicians find pleasure in the killings since people who should be questioning their performance are diverted by the conflict? Governors in the South need to stand for their people just like Benue governor is standing for his people. You can't see anybody doing any any open, uh, doing open grazing in Benue State. It is great enough to be a governor. Forget this ambition of becoming president, vice president, minister that is keeping the mouth of governors in the south short. They are keeping mom. The only language these uh, Haga children understand is violence for violence. This peace intervention. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Initiative seem not to be working. I don't know where Yoruba will learn. This is how you cry to Fulanis and not with a tire. Defending yourselves, don't don't wait for government. If you like, protest from today to next month. Governor Fayemi will not act against killer Esme in the state, but you can defend yourselves. Killing two of your village farmers by foreigners and you people are polluting the air with smoke. When you people are tired of being killed, you will have sense by force. IPC APKT indigents, since their governor said his state is second home to Fulani people, what do you expect? And you continue to talk, 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 just like somebody said that the government, the governor especially, is not going to fight the SME, he's not going to take a decisive uh, measure, so he's going to take a decisive step to be able to curb this since you will see that they, instead of them to talk to, uh, talk about or to be angry about the activities or the atrocities of this uh, full anesthesia, they will turn back to blame you. That why are you complaining? Like people are, have been saying that protest is not going to do anything. It's not going to work the magic. It's not going to profile solution. It is just unfortunate. The worst part of it is by the time you start to defend yourself and the other people are being hurt, the next thing, the police will come. The army will come for you. The people that killed your brothers are in your bushes, enjoying themselves. You are here burning innocent tires and uh, making noise with within the neighborhood. Mm. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and listen your thoughts on this. Thank you.